Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome to a brand new series. This is Stardew Valley. This is a really kind of a cool indie game that's, uh, I've, a lot of my friends have played it and have really enjoyed it, so I figured I'd give it a try. So, uh, I've done all the character creation already, we just need to name our farm, and I think we're gonna call it Camelot Farm. And our favorite thing, what is my favorite thing? My favorite thing is probably, we'll say dogs, maybe. Sure. I'll go with that. Actually, no. My favorite thing is adventure. Yes. And I'm a dog lover, and we're all good. So, there we go. Let's go ahead and dive right into it. So, the introduction. Let's see. And for my very special grandson. I want you to have this sealed envelope. So my grandpa seems to be on his deathbed here. He gives me the envelope. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Okay, Grandpa. Grandpa's telling me things. Grandpa has a sword. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. There seems to be a sword. I'm kind of fascinated by the cutlass on his mantle. Now let Grandpa rest. Twenty years later. So I must have been a little boy. Joja, join us, thrive, work. Cubicle job. Looks like... I've actually worked cubicle jobs. They're not enjoyable. <laughs> I, I used to work customer service for a, a communications company, for a couple communications companies, actually. It's not really a fun job. It's definitely a daily grind, so I can relate. Joja, I'm, a, I'm sure, is a, a made-up company. But there I am, and I look positively miserable. And my cubicle's kind of nasty and disgusting. That's kind of gross. Okay, so I open up... ...the drawer, and I have the letter in the drawer at my cubicle at work. Okay. Oh, I have to click on it. Dear Wells Knight, If you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Camelot Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll only honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Alright, so, looks like we're moving out to Camelot Farm. This reminds me a lot of uh, Harvest Moon, which was a game I used to play all the time before I got into YouTube. Um, I think I've played most of the Harvest Moon games, um, and this definitely has that kind of a vibe to it. Same kind of similar backstory... Um, except in that one, you're usually a bit long, uh, a bit younger. Stardew Valley, five miles that way. All right. So, we arrive to the town. I don't want to skip the intro. It gives you the option to skip all this if you want, but I don't want to skip it because I want to know what's going on. Hello, you must be Wells Knight. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. Well, that's nice of him. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. Okay, let's follow Robin. Robin the Redhead. Hmm. Let's see. This is Camelot Farm. Camelot Farm is a disaster. Look at all this stuff. It's... Ugh, what's the matter? 
Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. That's gonna take a more than a little bit of dedication. That's a lot of mess. That's pretty bad. I'm gonna be toiling, <laughs> toiling away for quite a while. Man, and here we are, your new home. All right, so this is my house. And that's Mayor Lewis, I assume. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You named your town after a bird? You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. Why, thank you. I'm glad to know that I'm the talk of the town. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house. Very... rustic. I sense that when you say rustic, you don't mean that in a nice way. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Now, stop hating on my house. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Crusty? It doesn't look crusty. Rude. <laughs> It'll get better. We'll fix it up. Don't listen to her, Wells Knight. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Ooh, how clever. Business tactics. Humph, she says. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. All right. Well, looks like tomorrow we're going to have our work cut out for us because there's a lot of stuff here that needs to get done. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it here in this box. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. So he's going to come during the night. Why not in the morning? Just out of curiosity. Maybe he's a night person. I don't know. That sounds early. I'm not a fan of early. Mornings, not my thing. Okay, so this is our house. Very small. Kind of quaint. You know, rustic, I think, is a is a good uh, analogy. Can I... Ah, okay, right-click to interact with stuff, it looks like. Fifteen parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. Why, thank you, Mayor Lewis. Let's see, and we've got a fire. Let's check the weather. What's the weather supposed to be like today? Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now, the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be clear and sunny all day. Excellent. That's awesome. That's the kind of weather we like. Now we're going to have to clear this out. There's going to be a lot of clearing out that we need to do. Let's see. So, Scythe will break these. Oh, and mix seeds. Oh, so if we scythe these, we have a chance of actually getting seeds and fiber and grass and stuff. Interesting. Okay. And then I'm assuming pick to break the rocks. Yep, that gives us stone. Okay. And... Is this our axe? This is our axe. And that we can break that to make wood. Okay. And this little tree, this little tree needs to be chopped. All right. So I think I'm not, I'm not going to clear out this whole thing right now because that would take forever. And I really kind of want to get into the game a little bit. Um, but we'll just kind of clear out like a little farm area right here, I think. And that should probably be adequate. We'll just kind of, I think once I get these two trees and then that little last tuft of grass over here, um, we'll have something we can work with, at least for starters. So, let's take out our hoe, and let's just make a couple rows here. How many? We have 15 parsnip seeds, so let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Perfect. So, we'll go ahead and plant those. Oh, actually, that's six. Let's make it seven. And we'll do that. Uh, and actually, let's go eight. Let's make one here as well, and we'll plant our our mixed seeds, whatever whatever that'll be. We'll plant that one over there. Um, and then I want another row over here. We'll just keep them separated a little bit, because why not? Oh, what was that? Clay. Okay, interesting. And then we'll go ahead and place the rest of our parsnip seeds along there. It looks like you can just hold it and drag, so that's good. 
And then we'll definitely want to go ahead and water those so that they can grow big and strong. And I believe if it's like Harvest Moon, I think you're encouraged to water them every day. Otherwise, they won't, uh, they won't grow as well. And I'm going to assume that that's going to be the case here, too. So we'll go ahead and water those. There's the daily chores done. Can we fill this up in the... Yes, we can fill it up right over there. Okay, excellent. So we're good. Is there anything in the mail? Nope, no mail. All right, let's go explore the town a little bit. Let's see what we can find. Let's see here. So we've got... This is the bus station, the bus stop where we were. Um, is there like a... If I hit M for map? Oh, there we go. Look at that. So we're at the bus stop. We've got general store, we got... Okay, cool. Let's head this way. And we'll just, uh... We'll see what we can come up with. Let's see here. People? Any people? Oh, there's stuff here. What's this say? Okay, so this is a calendar. We've got birthdays and we've got events. So it looks like there's an egg festival and a flower dance. Okay. Let's go into Pierre's general store. And let's see what we can buy. Can I talk to him? Yeah, there we go. So we've got various types of seeds. We've got... That's pretty much it. Just basically seeds, flooring, saplings, things like that. Okay. So general, general store type goods. Let's talk with the townspeople. Abigail. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving on to that old farm. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoyed exploring those overgrown fields by myself. Oh, did I, did I bugs, did I break it? <laughs> ah, Mayor Lois told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. Hi, Marnie. Nice to meet you. I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. Okay, so we buy animals from her. She won't say anything else to me. I should talk to him. Pierre, hello, it's Mr. Wells Knight, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price, so I can sell my stuff to him. A little agriculture could really inject new life into the local economy. Okay, good to know. Let's see, anything else back here? Any other people? You're not good enough friends with Abigail to enter her bedroom. Well, that is true. We did just meet moments ago, so, you know, I guess that's to be expected. Hi, who are you? Let's be friends. Caroline. Hi, you must be Wells Knight, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Tell me about yourself, Caroline. My husband runs the general store here, and you... And have you met my daughter, Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair. So Abigail is her daughter. Okay. Got it. Fair enough. Let's see, what's this? Oh, journal, here we go, getting started. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics. And we also need to greet 28 people. Looks like, oh, there's all sorts of people around here. Hello, people, come, no, oh wait, I already, t I already spoke with her. Ooh, who are you? Leia. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Leia. You picked a good time to move here. The spring is lovely. It is. It is indeed. She might be my wife. She might be a wife. It might be wife material. Who knows? Harvey, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. I perform regular checkups and medical procedures for all the residents of Pelican Town. It's rewarding work. Good. I'm glad. I'm glad you have a sense of fulfillment in your job and your life. That makes me happy for you. Um, already spoke with her. What's this? What building is this? I have no idea. Vincent! Oh, a stranger! My name's Vincent! Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Jody! Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Nice to meet you, Jody. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a new farmer around could really change things. So really... There's all sorts of people. Jody, I'm assuming, is married because she's got uh, Vincent there. I'm trying to figure out who our wife material is because if this is anything like Harvest Moon, and obviously it is, um, 
we will have to choose a wife at some point. Uh, only, okay, so Leia lives there. And is there anything? Ooh, who are you? Haley's too involved with her camera to notice you. Well, that's not very nice. Can't even stop and say hi. How am I supposed to introduce myself if, uh, if you're just so engrossed in your camera that, hmm, that's a shame. Oh, well. What else do we have here? Ooh. Now that is a rundown house. It looks abandoned. Can I break into it? No, doesn't look like it. Okay. Can I break some of these things? Doesn't look like that either. I'm just kind of looking around. There's like a empty bottle there. This looks like it was a bridge or something at some point, and it's now been ruined. Hmm, there's a lot to explore here. There's quite a lot, and it's... Wow, it's already 2.50 p.m. It's getting late. We'll have to... Maybe what I'll do to finish out the day, we've met uh, we've met a couple of the townsfolk. 11 of the 28. Maybe what I'll do... We'll do maybe like one swing around the village. Um, I don't think we'd been up this way yet. Oh, I think this is the ranch that uh, Marnie was talking about. Maybe. Yeah, except there's like nobody here except for her. So... Ooh, hello. Who are you? You're new. I haven't talked to you yet. Jazz. Hi. <laughs> that was a very uh, brief conversation. <laughs> One word. Hi. Ooh, this... Is this my farm? Because this is... Where am I right now? Yes. This is indeed my farm. Looking... Wow, I have a lot more farmland here than I thought I did. Like, this is a pretty substantial amount of land. I need to see if I can, like, get back to my farm area place thing. Um, let's just kind of work our way up this way. This is all the overgrown stuff. I don't want to exert myself too much. Yeah, wow, I did not realize I had that much land to work with. That is, that's like a huge amount of land. Okay, cool. Well, it's 4.50 p.m., so it's getting kind of late. I think it's time, I think our best bet to kind of finish out the day is to just clear out a bit more of this as best we can. Um, because energy... It looks like this. there's a little energy bar down here, and as that depletes, I'm assuming if that depletes too much, I'll, you know, pass out from exhaustion. Uh, also very much like Harvest Moon, so uh, let's see here. We'll do that. I don't think I want to clear out, like, as I said, there's no way I'm going to be able to clear out all of this, but I'll get a bit of it done. We can maybe clear out a bit over here. I'm assuming maybe some of these rocks may require, um, like, better tools to do away with. So, like, for example, we got these bigger trees here. I'm assuming... Can I chop this guy down? Oh, maybe I can. Let's see if I can. There it goes. Alright, so it's down. We... Pretty much just took that whole thing down. Nice. So maybe I can do it with the tools that I have right now. That would be pretty cool. I can see my energy dropping, though. So let's see. Is it I for inventory? E for inventory. So we've got 35 wood. We've got some coal. We've got a little bit of, of uh, sap. And then we've got some stone and some other stuff as well. So let's look at crafting. Can I make like a... I can make a campfire. I can make a couple various path type things. Um, doesn't look like I can make anything for storage, though. I also don't know what this box is. What's this box? No. Oh, that's probably the shipping box. So mail comes in here, and then things that I want to actually sell 
go out there. I'm guessing that's what it is. Okay, that makes sense. Now, let's see. What else do we have here? Skills? Farming, mining, foraging, fishing, combat. Hmm. That's very unlike Harvest Moon. Not that I'm complaining about that. That's very interesting. Okay, so there's a combat skill. And then we've got collections, options, some other various stuff. Yeah, 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 I can mess with that later. And then exit game. Okay, so not too bad. But I think it's time for bed, guys, and I think it's time to wrap this episode up. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps up my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.